what is good everybody welcome to the channel and i'm back at you with another video and if you don't know who i am i'm cody i have a 2013 5.0 and today's video is going to be a little different than my normal videos i'm going to be just talking about my thoughts and my opinions on the brand new s650 the seventh generation mustang that ford just revealed yesterday today's thursday this video will be going out tomorrow on friday so it will be a couple days after but um you know, they, they revealed the EcoBoost, the 5.0, and then the all-new Dark Horse Edition, which is just a beefed-up 5.0. Um, nothing too crazy. The name is, eh, it's not bad. It's not the greatest. And uh, I have some notes on my phone to go over the specs that they released to talk about. And then after that, I'll tell you if I like it, if I hate it, or if I'm on the fence about it. Um, let's get into the specs first and foremost the horsepower on the 5.0 they said like 480 plus horsepower so I'm guessing in the 485 range that it's going to be in and then one big thing that I'm proud that Ford finally did with the 5.0s is they put like Brembo's in the front like they have been for a while but they finally finally put brembo's on the back that was one of my biggest pet peeves ever is that not even there's other car manufacturers that did this not just ford that would put brembo's on the front but not the rear to me that is retarded i hate it it's dumb it looks stupid um but i think i believe it's a six piston brembo up front and then a four piston in back and then it has the extra caliber in the back for the electronic drift brake which is another feature they're adding to every model of Mustang in this S650 generation, which is cool. So it means the EcoBoost will have it, but you pretty much have a, your e-brake can become like an electronic drift brake. So it will uh, like charge up the rear end for you to make it drift easier, which is a cool feature. I don't know how much I'd use it if I get one of these cars. And then also talking about the Brembo's, you know, not only does it say Brembo down the caliber, but it also has a little pony logo on it, which I think is a nice little touch. And then you could get them in different colors, which is about time because I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I didn't care for the matte black Brembo's with the red sticker on them. Didn't care for it. I thought it was, you know, cheap and lazy on Ford's part just to do one monotone color like that. Like they just... You know they just fade into the car they don't pop i like i like my calibers to pop i know some people like them to blend and not be like standout color but me i like them to stand out and that blue that they had on the reveal that like grabber blue brimbo was chef's kiss I, I love it and i think you can go with the bro or the grabber blue brimbo the red brimbo and then a black brimbo like they've always had and you know it's finally about time for made some color options for stuff and we'll talk about that when we get to the interior but you know the exterior we'll keep talking about that the front end looks aggressive i like how the front end looks i know some people hate how it looks i think it looks good i like the headlights i like how aggressive it looks like seeing it in your rear view mirror you're, you're, you know it's a mustang like it's aggressive i like the hood i like the hood vent that they have kind of like the 13 14 gt 500 head vents but a little different you know it's just to me it looks good um the rear three-quarter profile is one of my favorite profiles of the car it looks good to me i like the tail lights um you know i just i just like everything about the exterior it looks really good to me and if you can't tell by now me saying this i do like the car i think it's awesome um you know, they lowered the belt line a little bit, so it sits a little lower, which is cool. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the exterior. I know they're coming out with, the, like, different colors, like the Vapor Blue that they showed, which is an awesome color. But now um, we can hop into the interior, talk about that. So with the interior, like I said, you get the drift uh, e-brake. It acts as an electronic drift e-brake when you switch to that mode, so drift mode which is cool uh, another like cool feature that i i don't know how much i'd use it probably will get overused by other people but you can rev your engine from your key fob which is different you know i don't know 
I don't know if any other company's done that, to be honest. And, uh, let's see, they're also, you know, they're keeping it manual. They're keeping it gas powered, no electronic assisted bullshit. So props to Ford for that. And I don't know if the f all the 5.0s are coming with the Tremec transmission or is it just the Dark Horse? I'm not too sure on that. But I know the Dark Horse comes with the Tremec manual transmission, which is awesome transmission. It's the one they use in the GT500, um, like the 1314s. I think, I don't know if they used it in the 1112s. I know, I think it's used in the GT350s too, the S550 ones. Pretty sure they use Tremec in that one. Another really cool feature, I love the interior. Um, I like the like single big infotainment center, but it's divided into two. You know, you got your cluster on one and then your like radio navi on the other side, but it's just one like big screen, kind of like Mercedes does. I know some BMWs have it. But I, I think that's awesome. I love it's all digital. And I like that they added the Fox body like cluster that you can choose to use. And it has that old style green glow to it like the Fox bodies did. It's also got a 12 speaker system in it, which I don't know how many speakers the S550s have in them. But I know the S197, like 13, 14, probably the 11s and 12s as well. They, if you have a base model, they only have four speakers, two in the door, two in the back. If you have the shaker edition, I think it's six. I think there's four in the door and then two in the back. And then also now it's coming with a flat bottom steering wheel. You can't really see my steering wheel, but you can kind of see the carbon. I have an aftermarket carbon fiber steering wheel that's flat bottom. I think it's about time Ford did a flat bottom steering wheel. They're so much better than just rounded steering wheels. Another awesome thing, I think it's about time for did this i don't know why they didn't do it in th this generation i don't know why they didn't do it in the s550s but you can finally have different colored seat belts like you can see i have red seat belts but this is not stock this is like uh, i think it's from safety recall uh, i don't know why that hasn't been an option Col having different colored seat belts is awesome i don't know what colors you can choose from but it's about time ford has that option and then you could make the stitching around the car like on the center console, on the dash, like all, anywhere they're stitching, you could color match it to the seat belts, which is awesome. It's about time, you know. That's one thing Ford has been lacking in is interior design. I mean, the S550s were a big upgrade from the S197s. I mean, I have a 13. If I haven't, if I didn't upgrade my interior, this car feels so much older than a 13 without like an upgraded interior. It's just, that's one part Ford's always lacked on with the Mustangs was the interior. Like yes, the S550's got a little better, but they could have done way better. And I think with this one, they're doing a lot better, but they can still do way better. I mean, it's just, it's Ford. It's, you know, what can you expect? That's pretty much everything that they covered for the interior. You know, you can still get Recaros. If you can see, I have Recaros in my car, which uh, if I end up getting one of these newer Mustangs, I'm definitely gonna go with the Performance Pack Recaro. If I if the Dark Horse isn't too much more, I'd go with the Dark Horse. Um, and that that's another thing we'll talk about real quick is the little differences in the Dark Horse that they did announce so far is, you know, it's gonna be 500 horsepower, it has a different grill. I think it has a different lip on it. Um, I don't know if the spoiler is any different than the Performance Pack 5.0. It might be the same. It might be a little different. But the biggest thing is the 500 horsepower. You know, the emblems. I don't really care for the emblems. I'd probably take them off if I got the Dark Horse Edition. And then I know it has reduced drag over the Performance Pack 5.0 and a little better cooling. Um, but you know, they, like I said, they offer it in the six speed, uh, manual and they also have the 10 speed automatic that they're keeping from the S550 generation, the 18 and up, which is, uh, if I was to get one, I'm going with manual, like straight up, I'm going to keep manual. Uh, I love driving manual. The, the 10 speed is no joke. Don't get me wrong. That's awesome car. I've drove a bunch of them. They're awesome, but that's pretty much it for interior wise and 
the little differences from the Dark Horse to the 5.0. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the 5.0 and the EcoBoost have a completely different front end, so it's a little bit easier to tell them apart from just the hood, which I think is cool. Like, if you have an EcoBoost, it shouldn't look the same as a 5.0. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't really care for the EcoBoost. Uh, to me, it's not a real muscle car. You know, a four-cylinder muscle car is it's not a muscle car. You know, some people may hate me for saying that, but it's true. Um, you know, no hate to you if you buy it. Like, I'm not hating on you. It's just, in my opinion, you know, it, it's not a Mustang. And one thing that they didn't say in the reveal is, because they didn't show the engine or anything, but the 4th Gen Coyote is a twin throttle body setup. So that means we're going to have two intakes. I don't know how it's going to look, but, you know, it's confirmed that it's going to be a twin throttle body setup. So that that's going to be crazy having two intakes like on the engine, you know, to me, it's about time they did that because it's a dual overhead cam setup. So it makes sense to do that. You're going to get more air into the engine and it's just going to run better. You know, it's about time, but Ford's likes to lack on a lot of stuff. And yeah, my opinion on the car. I, th I think it's awesome. I love it. Um, to me, it's already better than the S550. It's a contender for the S197s, 13, 14s. Um, in my heart, I have a soft spot for the new edges. I love new edges. That was my first car I ever owned. But the S650 and the S197s, you know, neck and neck for me. Um, I like the 13, 14s a little bit better, but I love the S650, man. I just, I love everything they've done with it. It looks aggressive. It looks good. You know, it being 480 horsepower for the 5.0. And then if you get the dark horse, you get the 500 horsepower. I I want to get one. Um, I don't know if I'll get one in 2023 when they release the 24s. I don't know if I'll get, you know, the first set of them. But I do want to try to get one by like 2025 or 2026 model. Like, it's definitely a car I want in my stable. Um... I don't want to get rid of this one. I want to keep the S197 and, you know, have the S652. That would be the goal. So, um, I don't know if that will happen for the 2024 model. But I could easily see me getting one by 2025, 2026 when they release those ones. And I want to, I want to spec it out to how I like it. Get it brand new. You know, it will be the first car I buy brand new, which will be... You know something very dope to do but you know um i definitely want to get one i really like them i want to know what you guys think about them so let me know in the comments if you love them if you hate them if you don't care for them if you're on the fence about them if you really want one just let me know how you feel like i'm interested to see what you guys feel about these new s650s um i think they're awesome can't wait to actually see them in person I can't wait to see what all these after aftermarket manufacturers do for them, like all the aftermarket parts that are going to be with them. Sorry, my GoPro shut off because it got too hot, but if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate it so much. This is where I'm going to end it. But like I said, let me know how you guys feel about the new S650 in the comments. If you would like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.